last week. Um, I was at a, an alien show, uh, and I, I was uh, visiting with a, a, a lot of aliens. <laughs> uh, they were horses, actually. Overcame his shyness by being able to show his cat and say, you know, say meow like Captain Kirk or something. You know, I, whatever he was doing made him brave enough to be social, and he began to overcome his shyness by having that. I interviewed a girl who had multiple personalities, <coughs> all of them from Star Trek. <laughs> it was the most amazing thing, so these voices would come out of her. Now, whether she was faking or not, I don't know. She was very good, and I flew to Dallas to interview her and, and got her story for the book. That the people who come to conventions are here not to really to see people like me, the celebrities, but to see each other and to participate in a, this is too narrow to walk up and down, I don't want to fall off the stage, <laughs> which will be amusing once, but then uh, <laughs> it doesn't lead itself to multiple, uh, I can't do this more than once, uh, so I'm going to stay right here. Um, so I, I'm aware of why most of you are here, because I wrote this book. What I didn't know, and what I discovered last, uh, two weeks ago, shooting at the big Star Trek, the biggest Star Trek convention ever, 20,000 people attended it, and I was running around shooting uh, personal stories and events and, and people and, and trying to find a story. The most amazing thing about doing a documentary is in some cases, at least in the cases of the documentaries I have shot, uh, there's another one called Gonzo Ballet, where a ballet company does a ballet of songs I wrote and, and how they did it and what they did. So it's again, something that becomes, is available. Think about it, it's really funny and really, and really interesting. He was whizzing by on his way to one event after another. So I had him whizzing by this brave young man who's dying and would prefer to be amongst us than be alone. It was extraordinary. I met a college professor talking about the Joseph Campbell myth mythology that I'm trying to relate to. So, here's what I want to do with applause. Do you think I should name this Fanatics or should I name it Get a Life? Because it is not disparaging, the, 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 the uh, documentary will not be disparaging, but on the contrary, it will be laudatory to all of, us, all of us who come to conventions because we're participating in something that pleases all of us, and we're not nuts! <laughs> so, I need, I'm going to change if, if we change it, based on your applause. Should this be fanatics, or should this be uh, uh, get a life? What do you think about fana fanatics? <laughs> Some of you didn't stop clapping the moment I did that. <laughs> or should this be get a life? Pretty close, but I think Fanatics has it. Yeah. Okay. You've given me a, a strong suggestion, and I will take that up. Now, I, I, I will call it Fanatics unless the, the uh, people who are going to exhibit it insist on uh, Get a Life, but know that I'm, that I'm there with you all, and it'll be a, a, a wonderful film about people who go to conventions.